So not having fun during a match, it's not a bad thing. It's actually the good thing because if you have fun and you're smiling always, that means that, that you don't hate losing. And to really be good, you have to hate losing. To be able to work harder, go back to the gym and what Michael and Phil was saying now. So what I really mean is try, try to have as much as fun as possible, especially when you practice, when you're suffering in practice, have fun with those moments. Because if you don't have fun, especially when you're young, after when you're older, it's, it's when you're older, you have more things in life and life. Honestly, it gets, it doesn't get easier. You, it'll punch you and, it'll, and, and it's not, it's not easy. So I think right now, um, when you're young, is if you don't have fun now, it's gonna be really tough for you to have fun later. And yeah, Perfect. something it's really yeah. easy to learn from Rafa, Novak, yeah. Roger, but there, that's that's some that's a goal you have to try to reach. But there's a lot of people Behind. before that, like like before David Ferrer or other people with different talents that I don't know how to say it that. These are great examples of for sure, but there are other people that are more humble or more with not as great results, but they even maybe they're even better than them because with less talent, they accomplish really great things, you know? It's so exactly. sometimes it's, it's really good to, to see that, those great examples, Michael Jordan or Tiger Woods, all these guys, but there's a lot of great athletes that they're not that great as the best ones of history, but they do a lot of good work as well. And they're good examples, I think. Yeah. Everyone at their own level, they'll have different pressures. If if you're a 14-year-old and you're number one in Italy and maybe one of the best in the world, of course you're going to have pressure every time you go on court because you probably have the obligation to win almost every match you play. That's something that happened to me. And, of course, it's not easy to have fun like that. That's that's what I mean, that try to have fun, even if sometimes it's really tough because tough. you have pressure. You know you have pressure. Maybe you have Nike sponsors, you have big sponsors behind, and and... And it's not easy, but that's what I mean. That try to put as much as fun as possible in tennis, because the people that surround tennis they try to take it from you without wanting to take it from you. You know, maybe parents, family, brands. So that's that's really wanna really wanna tell you.